Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I sand and varnish this swim platform. This is a teak swim platform that came off of a, either a 35 or a 38 foot fiberglass Chris Craft. And it already has varnish built up on it, but I think it's been a while since it's been varnished and it's time to sand it up and put a couple of coats on it. And there was just a little bit of hardware on it. There are a couple of brackets here for the swim ladder and then there was some solid back stainless rub rail that went around the three sides. So I already removed that. And I already filmed a few segments on this, but in this video I'm going to show you how I, uh, how I sand it, how I prepare it, and varnish it. And if I flip it over, the back side I already started sanding, and there were a bunch of runs or drips that came through the bottom at all the corners. And I'm going to show you how I remove those without having to sand them down. It's a lot of work to try to sand all that down. There were quite a few and they were th really thick. So I'm going to show you a quick easy way to get rid of those to make your sanding a lot easier. And I could tell the last time that this was varnished, it was only varnished on the top side, which is this side you're seeing right now. And the bottom wasn't done. And the in between these gaps, there, it was kind of dry brush, there wasn't much varnish, but the varnish that did get through, it dripped on the bottom and they, they left it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to remove that. So, and then I'm also going to show you how I varnish it. I'm going to put two, end up putting two coats on here, but I'm going to show you this really cool rig that I, it's a very simple rig to build. You could probably build it in uh, maybe a half an hour to be able to varnish both sides of this, get it up at, at working height, and, and be able to do both sides and spin it. And actually when you're done varnishing, you can leave it uh, vertical like this so it, doesn't, so it doesn't attract a bunch of dust, so it doesn't get a bunch of dust on it. It's a real simple way of doing it instead of, uh, instead of doing it on sawhorses, which is traditionally how I've always done it. But you gotta kinda crawl under and uh, you gotta do the top side crawl under and then try to get the bottom and it's kind of a pain. So I made this rig, it's a pretty cool rig that uh, I'll be able to spin this thing right in front of me. So I'm gonna go into showing you how to do that. So that's what this video will be about. It'll be about uh, preparing this and varnishing this swim platform. So I'll stop the camera and get set up, all right? Okay, here's a quick shot of the swim platform after varnishing it. This rig worked out really nice. It allowed me to rotate this and get all these in, inside edges on both sides. 
and it was right in front of me. So that was the first time I've, I've uh, built a rig like this to, to rotate a swim platform and I really like how it worked out. And now that it's, it's varnished, it's about 10 minutes after I, I varnished it, now that uh, it, I'm done with it, I could rotate it vertical like this and uh, that way it'll, it'll uh, accumulate less dust on it while it's drying. I'm done for the night so I'm going to head out but I don't know if you could see in between there that it's uh, I don't see any runs or anything. It, it worked out nice having it right in front of me. So, so that'll do it for the video on how I prepare and varnish a swim platform. All right.